All right. Let's get things rolling here on day two of the Ray Memorial Weekend with the Wasota Midwest Modifieds. We've got 25 cars running today, three heats. Going to have nine in this first heat. Let's give you the lineup. In row one, on the inside, it'll be Gavin Paul from Fort Francis in the number 38. Outside of him, Cole Chernoski from Thunder Bay in the 33C. In row two, Jesse Thompson from Emo in the 3X on the inside. Doug Wakefield from Thunder Bay in the number 80 on the outside. In row three, inside, it's gonna be James Lambert of Fort Francis in the 59X. Outside of him, the 14C of Cody Osichuk of Fort Francis. Row four belongs to Colby Reed in the 89 from Thunder Bay and Trenton Woodbeck in the double zero from Thunder Bay. And row five, Rob Groom from Murillo in the 17. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time today, let's go racing! And a great start for Cole Chernoski, but we've got trouble right away as going off on the back side of the track. Looks like we're gonna have a restart on that, folks. Bit of an early jump. We'll line them up again to get them ready to roll. This time we'll get her going. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing! And this time Gavin Paul will hold the lead coming off in the first couple of turns. Cole Chernaski solidly in second behind him. An early battle for third between James Lambert and Jesse Thompson with Lambert getting the edge at the moment. Ten laps in heat number one of three here in the Wasota Midwest Modified Division today. Nice move now by Colby Reed on the inside. He'll move up into fourth spot. And right behind him, Trenton Woodbeck as well, putting on a good push. Looking to take fifth. Now Gavin Paul on the inside and he blasts past Chernowski. Chernowski putting a good run on him, trying to get the lead. But it's Gavin Paul, the wily veteran. Holding top spot at the moment. Here comes Chernoski though, looking to make a move on the outside. Look out, trouble on turn two. Cody Osichuk got onto the infield, but managed to recover. Now Chernoski, big push on down the back stretch. Looking to find that line to get past Gavin Paul. And we've got a yellow. That'll tighten things up even further. Got a wayward tire here between turns one and two that may have to get fixed.
Looks like we've got that tire back in place. Big round of applause for our track crew, making sure we can keep racing going smooth here. They are the unsung heroes here at the Speedway. Them drivers, those drivers can not do what they do without the presence of this sharp track crew. We appreciate all their efforts and all the contributions of everyone who helps make Borderland Racing happen. Next time around, we will go green. We're a little uncertain at the moment due to technical difficulties about number of laps remaining. But it's gonna be a battle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing! And it's Gavin Paul holding the edge off the restart. Cole Chernoski trying to move on the inside. Trouble on turn four, look out. It's Jesse Thompson. Got hung up on the corner in turn four. And we'll have to bring the things down to yellow once again. Second yellow of heat number one. Check that, third yellow. Thank you, young rider. Appreciate the uh, info. So it's Jesse Thompson in the 3X making his way across the infield. Looks like he'll get back into the race, it appears. So Thompson will have to move to the back of the pack due to being the cause of the yellow caution. But we are close to getting back to green. Next time around, we are good to go. Five laps to go here in heat number one. Let's go, racing! And James Lambert, trouble on turn two. He's going to drop all the way to the back of the pack. As Gavin Paul continues to hold the lead. Chernoski second, Trenton Woodbeck up to third now. Colby Reed fourth, Cody Asichuk fifth. Tough break for the defending mid division champion, James Lambert. Now he's got pedal to the metal trying to get back into this. Two laps to go, though. Gavin Paul continuing to hold the lead. Wakefield and Thompson battling at the back of the pack for seventh. White flag lap, one to go. Gavin Paul continuing to hold the edge. Cole Chernoski looking to work his way back into it. Final corner. And he is not going to get there. It's going to be Gavin Paul. Cole Chernoski second. Trenton Woodbeck third. Colby Reed fourth.
A quick announcement. Looking for a little bit of volunteer help today selling 50-50 tickets. Folks, last night we gave away $2,564 in 50-50 winnings. We want to do that again today, but we can't do it if we don't have people selling tickets. If So anyone that wants to help sell 50-50 tickets would be greatly appreciated for today. We've got one willing volunteer already. Anyone else would like to jump in? It would be awesome of you for helping out. Thank you so much. Heat 2 coming up right now. We'll give you the lineup as they head to the start line. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing! At the front of the pack. It's the combination of Mike Jack from Thunder Bay and the 31J going alongside the 69 of last night's feature winner, Justin Jones, who forges into the lead. Looking to go back to back today. Third spot currently, David Simpson in the 70 car from Thunder Bay. He's coming up fast on Jack and blast pass on the inside. Jack in trouble on Kurt Four. Look out, couple of cars hung up. And we're gonna have our first yellow here in heat number two. As it looks to be the 88V of Paul Viert from Winnipeg. As he and Jacques had a little bit of trouble on turn four. Viert ending up on the infield. He's got himself straightened around and will get himself lined back up. We'll see what the ruling is on that one. The other cars here in heat two. We have the E97 of Mark Earl from Niebing. The number 16 of Garrett Paul from Fort Francis. The number 24 of Corey Randall from Devlin. And the 222 car of Bob Hammond from Fort Francis. Eight cars here in heat number two. 10 laps, but some early difficulties. Looks like Mike Jacques has been sent to the back of the pack. So it'll be Justin Jones with the lead coming off the restart. David Simpson in second. And outside of him, Paul Veert in third. One lap down, now to go. Let's go, racing. And trouble on turn two. A couple of cars are coming together again. It's Mike Jacques along with Corey Randall. It looks like we've got a third car involved there as well. Might be Mark Earl, the E97. Jacques extric extricates himself from the tangle, but looks like Corey Randall and Mark Earl joined at the hip. So a bit of a rough start here on heat number two in the Wasota Midwest Modifieds. Again, top four advance to the A main feature. The rest will have to try and qualify through the B feature. Your top four in that first heat, Gavin Paul in first, Cole Chernowski in second, Trenton Woodbeck in third, and I believe Cody Ostchuk in fourth. Sorry, Colby Reed in fourth. So we'll have a slight delay while they try and Sort out the problems for Corey Randall and Mark Earl.
Hopefully the incident will not put an end to their racing day. A beautiful, beautiful day, day for racing, racing here at Emo Speedway. Speedway. Had, Had some, some tricky, tricky weather, weather on Friday that unfortunately forced us to postpone day one until yesterday. Track was in good shape, but a lot of rain happening during the day and the drivers not feeling confident enough to run their vehicles on Friday and they are the ones who are putting their lives on the line so they get the final say and rightfully so. Look like things are getting cleared up. Unfortunately, does not look like Corey Randall is going to be able to continue here, at least for the moment. Mark Earl, though, staying on track. And looks like he will stay in this heat. So good news for Mark Earl in the E97 from Nibing. try and get this restart going again. Justin Jones holding the lead. David Simpson second. Paul Beard in third. Let's get her going, boys. Let's go racing. And like he did last night, Justin Jones, expert off the restart. Getting a great jump. Stretch out the lead. David Simpson holding second. Paul Beard third. Garrett Paul in fourth. Jacques Dow fifth. Earl and Hammond battling in the back of the pack. Starting to space out a little bit now. A little bit of room for all the drivers. And it's Justin Jones continuing to hold a comfortable lead. Now, 
Mark Earl and Mike Jacques battling for fifth. Earl making a move on the inside. And Earl gets past, and Bob Hammond going past as well. Jacques dropping back to seventh. Two laps to go, and it's still Justin Jones with the lead. Top four move on to the A main feature. White flag lap, one to go. And it looks to be all in the back pocket of the Bemidji driver. Coming to the line for the checkered flag, it'll be Justin Jones. David Simpson second, Paul Mir third, Garrett Paul in fourth. Those four will move on to the A main feature in the Wasota Midwest Modified Division. Justin Jones with the fastest lap so far, 16.901 seconds. Let's get right into heat number three. We're gonna have eight cars listed in this one. 10 laps, again, top four, move on to the A main feature. Your lineup in row one on the inside from Fort Francis. It's the number 85 of Jamie Davis. Outside of him.